Hold the e-boost button down. There we go. One, two, three. Oh yeah! It's definitely as fast as this thing will fly! Here it is, the 2024 Kawasaki Ninja 7, 1,000 cc horsepower off the line with a hybrid assist. Stay with me, you don't want to miss this. The first thing you'll notice, let's get this thing started, is this TFT screen. This is hybrid, it will do uh, electric as well. You've got your battery here, or not battery, where it stores the energy. Your e-boost button, we're going to check this out. So we'll start it here, hold the button down, it'll start. We're going to put it in, pull the brake here. We'll get started here in first gear. This is basically automatic. It does have paddle shifters. Ma'am, big thank you to Plano Kawasaki that allows me to do this. This is a 2024 Ninja 7 Hybrid. And man, the first thing I can tell you is you're sitting, uh, you're sitting up on the bike and maybe two degrees forward. Uh, it does have a, about a medium-sized windshield. You have no clutch over here. You have your flash to pass there for your headlights. Where you could, uh, bless her heart. Anyways, let's get out here on the street. It's showing our gear indicator there. These get on the average when they're uh, in the eco mode. Uh, I've heard about 60 to 70 miles per gallon. Also, you can run this in eco mode, uh, and we'll do that, totally electric mode. Uh, you can run this, wow, pretty car. You can run this in eco mode up to 44 mile an hour for, I think it's 24 minutes. So there's no clutch. We're shifting with our finger here on the paddle shifter. Very predictable, very sure-footed bike. Also, one thing I can tell you is the suspension's been beefed up a little bit. The rear swing arm is longer. This is basically a Ninja 500 frame that's been beefed up. And it does have a 450cc engine in it. That makes about 40 horsepower. I'm hitting the horn. <laughs> I keep wanting to shift with my finger. I'm shifting right here the paddle. I hope y'all can see that. But uh, turn that blinker off. This is really, you know what? To be very honest with you, I was so intimidated thinking that this bike had so much on it and I actually went and rode it around the parking lot for about two minutes and I was like, there's nothing to it. Now there's there's a lot to learn with the different modes, your automatic, your HEV, your EV, uh, but uh, I'm gonna put it in fully electric mode and let's, uh, it is, it's so weird. I, I rode it for about a hundred yards in EV mode. There's EV, so this is gonna be totally totally electric let's give it a try here it'll go up to i believe 44 mile an hour which is perfect for the city um it's kind of cool that it's automatic let's go here okay oh yeah it's got plenty of torque it's shifting automatically in the electronic mode uh i will tell you it's got pretty good power. I, I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't want to jump on the highway in electric mode. Of course, you wouldn't anyways because it'll only take you to 44 mile an hour. But there are parts of the country, especially in Europe, that it's electric only uh, areas. And that's probably something as these, these uh, city cities get overcrowded with cars and traffic and all that nice guy let's see it let's try and put this in sport mode going down the road we'll let off on the throttle oh, can't do that there's a few things to learn with this 
but uh, we'll pull over up here. Let's try putting this in electric mode, just going down the road and see if you can switch back and forth. We'll shift up a gear. There we go, third. And we'll go to eco mode if it'll let us going down the road. There is a way to do that. There is an e-boost button. This thing, it, it's, it's pretty quick as it is. It's a 58 horsepower motorcycle and it's got a nine kilowatt uh, electric motor on it. So it's uh, supposedly got enough pull off the line uh, to run with a thousand cc bike. We're gonna put it out there and see what we can get. Let's see here. Nope, I'm in the wrong gear. Let's see here. We're gonna put it in first. We're gonna put this e-boost on. E-boost is engaged. I've heard that it gives you 1,000 cc power off the line. We'll get out here. I wanna see if that's true. I would imagine it's one heck of a jolt because it's electric. So we're gonna check that out. I know that's what everybody's curious about. Hold the e-boost on. It's engaged. Turn that blinker off. Let's go. Oh yeah. One thousand cc power. I don't know. Seven fifty for sure. The electric jolt is huge. Let's shift it up here. We'll give it one more try on the e boost. Man, this this is pretty cool bike. I'll be honest with you, I was a little intimidated getting on it because there's so much, but it's really not that hard. We're going to turn in here and go back the other way. Shift that down. The best way to think of it is this finger will up your transmission, second, third, fourth. Your lower finger will lower the transmission. Let's kill that blinker. We look like a dodo. This is pretty cool, man. I get it. It is a uh, hybrid, so you will never charge the battery, and it's doing an excellent job of keeping the battery charged. Boy, they're everywhere back here today. So we'll pull out here in a second. Give it a little, a little go. These Plano cops got a job to do, man, and they're gonna do it. So we'll stop here. We'll hold the e-boost button on. There it is. Oh yeah, it, it. There's no doubt about it. You can tell it's definitely 600 cc fast. I mean that e-boost definitely works. <laughs> Let's go pull that transmission up. This is a super cool bike. I mean it's not for everybody, but you'll never have to charge it. I'm shifting it up. It also has, and it, the surprising part is even with the e-boost, I believe it'll boost it to about 40 mile an hour. I keep hitting the horn till I learn where that down button, I'm slowly getting used to it. Take it down here. Let's hold that e-boost button on. Let's see what happens here. If it'll let us do it while it's rolling, I think you... I think you have to be under a certain mile per hour. It's pretty neat. It, it's kind of fun to have all these gadgets and gizmos. It's Here we go, the e-boost. I'm going to get out here on the street. Yeah, it's definitely from like a red light kind of deal. So, uh, turn the e-boost on. Here we go. Now watch the front of this bike, Joel. It's one to pull the front wheel up. There it is. Oh yeah. I tell you what, when you hit that second, third gear, it, it goes. This bike is cool, man. 
this bike is cool. I could see this totally being a good beginner's bike. Uh, because you got pretty much the automatic transmission or if you were handicapped and you didn't have a left foot and you couldn't shift you could do it all up here but uh, you do all your shifting down here it does have horn blinkers all that also too it has a walk mode which is super cool you can uh, put it in walk mode and it'll roll it back for you like an electric reverse and I'll give you a, a, a demo of that up here go down in that transmission yeah I'm getting it down I've been riding it about 15 minutes and I'm I'm getting it down now there we go first gear with a thumb this is cool this is probably gonna be a two-part video so make sure you leave a comment I'm gonna put this in walk mode and walk mode is this button right here so we'll put it in walk mode now watch my hand I'll roll it back Let's kill that blinker oh yeah I'm going the wrong way so I roll it forward and it's gonna push the bike back that'd be nice for your garage or backing into a garage for space that is freaking cool right there turn that walk mode off there we go it starts the engine up also too at the red lights if you're in Econo uh, it will shut the motor off and you'll take off with electric assist from your stored battery and I'm really surprised you can tell the battery's helping it come off the line uh, every time I uh, take off but it's staying charged which is so cool because you know what what good is the e-boost if you're not gonna have it for another two hours but I'm gonna pull over and show this to you this is a pretty cool bike man but anyways, Plano Kawasaki in Plano, Texas has got all this stuff. They're the nation's biggest dealer for Kawasaki, Suzuki, and Aprilia. So you can give them a call. I'm going to pull this up a little bit. Kind of nice, too, not having to worry about the clutch. So we're going to put it in neutral. There we go. Put the kickstand down. Turn it off. The display is super cool, man super cool 36 miles a gallon we rode it pretty hard battery still charged full tank of gas let's get off and look at it i'm gonna show show a few things to you but look at this bike ninja kawasaki 7 hybrid ninja hev i'll show you some things that stand out to me the swing arm is four i think it's it is longer i don't want to swear to four inches but Anyways, it is a longer swing arm. This is a little bit heavier bike than a 500 Ninja, but it's basically built on the Ninja. Uh, it is basically a, a 500 Ninja frame to start with. Uh, you do have two 300 millimeter disc rotors there. You have the, uh, all everything's LED. Look at this headlight, looks just like a ZX6 or a zx10 that is one good looking bike man one good looking bike it does have a one-year warranty on it uh leave a comment if you'd be interested in this or if you'd like to know anything else about it i kind of had to do a quick video i don't uh i don't like to mislead people so i don't have quite have all the information on it you do have two air funnels that go back to the battery here. You will notice this is wider back here. There's an air funnel there, straight to the storage battery. There is no place to charge this battery, if I'm correct. You leave a, leave a message uh, if I'm wrong. But look at this thing, all LED, LED blinkers. Of course, it's a, it's a hybrid. Good looking bike, man. Look at this silver beautiful if it was me i don't know if you would really want to i'd probably take that uh put me a different uh different slip on on it that's a pretty bike a little bit longer super super bike plano kawasaki's information is in the, always in the description of my video i'm sure the tuners 
are going to be uh, looking for stuff to do to this. There's, uh, uh, it's going to be interesting to see what they do with it. A, a tuner can change the electric char uh, characteristics of it. I'm sure that's coming. Not right now. But Kawasaki is pioneering the motorcycle industry again. They're the first one to do this. They brought it to the production line. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you like this video if you got something from it. Make sure you leave a comment if you liked it or you got a question.